Some of you have asked me before, uh, mostly on the downgrading Vista to XP video, on how to make your CD uh, start up, be your start device. Um, the thing is, each system is going to be different, and I want to go through and try and show you how to do this. Because um, for some reason, uh, everybody didn't catch on that video, and I figured it's best just to go ahead and make a separate one for it. So, you know, you go through, you put your CD in, uh, you slide into the system, you start it up, and your normal window starts up, and you're not booting up off the CD. Well, what you can do is this being an ASUS system, ASUS motherboard in it, um, and some other systems will do this. As soon as you turn on the system, um, go ahead and start pressing your F8 key up here at the top. Sometimes that'll give you a boot menu like I've got here, which will let you select which device your system you want to boot off of. You know, a CD drive, another hard drive that you might have in there, etc. Um, not too many systems have these for some reason. Um, some of them, it's a different key. Dell's, uh, you usually have to go through and press F12 to get this menu up. Um, and then, I want to say I've seen some that you actually have to press F2 to get the uh, menu to come up. So, in the event that neither of those work for you, what you want to do is as soon as your system starts up, and I want to show you on this, I'm just going to do a control delete. As soon as your system starts up, you see it, you know, it's just gone blank. And you can kind of hear that beep there. Start pressing like delete on your keyboard. And you should get your uh, BIOS setup. And under here, you can go under your boot menu, change your boot device priority, or boot settings configuration. This one we should be just under the priority. There we go. And you can go through and move that CD-ROM to be the first thing it starts up off of. Um, each BIOS is going to be different. You're not going to see necessarily the same menu I just had there, which is what makes this video rather hard to make for you because each motherboard is going to be different if you're using um, a Dell and you want to get into the BIOS because there is no boot menu sometimes um, for them it's F2 to get into the BIOS um, if you're using a compact computer it's sometimes F10 um, I've seen some be F8 and um, a lot of them still use F1 uh, to get into the BIOS. So there's quite a few different keys you might have to go through and press and just like you saw me there pressing that delete key as soon as that system made that that beep just start pressing that uh, key over and over until you get to the uh, BIOS menu. If that doesn't work go on to the next key. Try F1. That doesn't work. Uh, try F2. That doesn't work. Uh, try F8. Then F10. And then uh, I finally try F12 and I have seen a few systems that even use escape uh, to get into the BIOS. So that's really all the advice I can give you on trying to get into the BIOS. Like I said, every single system will be different. Um, and then once you do get into the BIOS, the menus will be different. Uh, you might not even have a boot tab here. It could be right under main. Um, that you'll see, you know, boot device priority somewhere here, or boot devices. Uh, you might not even have a layout with the menus at the top. It could be just rows, and you have to choose one there. Um, you just got to kind of use your common sense there to figure it out. And that's that's it for setting up your system, to boot up off a of CD. Um, my general rule of thumb is always as soon as I get a system. I set up to immediately boot off of the CD as a default so I don't have to ever fool around with this uh, later and uh, then I set my second boot device there to be my primary hard drive and I usually set the final one to be disabled uh, this is a customer system he was fooling around with it 
and actually had caused his not to boot up. So, uh, but that's it. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, post them below. I'll try and answer them on this. Like I said, it's going to be a very generic thing. So, hard to answer, but I'll give it a shot.